pastor is saying to us, don't give up on them. Our opening scripture comes to the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 1. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such an one in the spirit of meekness. As Christians and soul winners, we should be concerned enough to know if anyone in our congregation has strayed away or fallen by the wayside. We are never to give up on anyone. The Lord expects us to account for every soul. The words of Jesus in John chapter 17, verse 12, should be our inspiration always in dealing with those that the Lord adds to the church. He said, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. John chapter 17, verse 12. The Lord Jesus accounted for every soul that God gave him. So winning must have accountability. We have to be accountable for the souls the Lord has given to us. In Luke chapter 15, the Lord Jesus told the parable of a shepherd with 100 sheep who left the 99 to go search for the one that got missing in the wilderness. When he found it, he carried it home rejoicing and invited his friends and neighbors to celebrate. Then the master said, I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. Luke chapter 15, verse 7. Here, Jesus was ministering to the Jews, but he wasn't talking about one who had never come to the Lord, but one who had strayed away. There's a difference between the one who has never been in the church and the one who's been in church but strayed away. We must go after them to win them back. So today, call or visit that brother, sister, or family that you know has been coming to church. Share the love of Christ with them and keep interceding for them. When you win them back, the Bible says, there'll be great joy in heaven. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Lord, I pray that your grace and mercy locate everyone who's been in the church, but for some reason has strayed away. May their love for you be rekindled, birthing a fresh appetite for your word and the things of the spirit. I pray that as Christ is formed in them, they be deeply rooted and grounded in faith and in your love. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 to 19, Galatians chapter 6, verse 1, and Luke chapter 15, verses 8 to 11. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Luke chapter 4, verses 1 to 13, and Deuteronomy chapters 18 to 21. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 24, verses 34 to 44, and Exodus chapter 30. Reality.